the details about the gunman who shot six officers in Baton Rouge, killing three of them. The shooter has been identified as Gavin Long of Kansas City. CBS News has learned he attacked the officers on his 29th birthday. Reporter Don Champion has the latest. Cell phone video captured the gun battle between Gavin Long and police in Baton Rouge Sunday. Shot fired, officer down behind the building and hit the ground. I don't know where the subject shooting from. Police say the suspect opened fire at a gas station less than a mile from police headquarters. Officers were responding to a 911 call of a suspicious person walking with a rifle. An absolutely unspeakable, heinous attack on law enforcement here in Baton Rouge. The violence, the hatred just has to stop. An eyewitness live streamed the shooting on social media. Boy, this man is shooting at the police. They probably finally just got him. He has a mask on, looking like a ninja. As shots rang out, law enforcement took cover behind their cruisers. Police say three officers and the gunmen were killed in the shootout. President Obama expressed his condolences and condemned the attack. Nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us. Tension has escalated following the death of Alton Sterling, a black man killed by white police officers in Baton Rouge nearly two weeks ago. Video of his death sparked protests nationwide. Days later, five Dallas police officers were killed in an attack. The motive for this latest shooting on police remains unclear. Don Champion, CBS News, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. One officer is in critical condition fighting for his life tonight. This was the fourth high-profile deadly encounter involving police over the past two weeks. Well, with Jerry Brown out of the country, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom is serving as acting governor. He's ordered the flags on the state capitol building to be lowered, be lowered to half staff. Just nine days ago, California honored the fallen police officers in Dallas with the same order. Presidential candidates have released statements on the Baton Rouge shooting. Hillary Clinton said, this is an assault on all of us. There is no justification for violence, for hate, for attacks on men and women who put their lives on the line every day in the service of, of our families and communities. And Donald Trump said, we grieve for the officers killed in Baton Rouge today. How many law enforcement and police people will have to die because of a lack of leadership in our country? We demand law and order. And San Jose's mayor says the events in Baton Rouge underscore again the risks police officers have to take every day. KPIX 5's Devin Feely has been talking to the mayor and also getting reaction from San Jose police to the killings of fellow officers in Louisiana. Devin. Yeah, the prevailing mood amongst law enforcement officers here in San Jose seems to be one of profound sadness and simultaneously profound frustration that they have yet again been targeted with deadly results. Officers are in the line of fire on a daily basis. At police headquarters in San Jose, flags were once again lowered to half staff. Well, the fading tributes to the five fallen officers in Dallas had yet to be swept away before a fresh tragedy struck the law enforcement community. The reality is this is a very dangerous job, and these folks are doing everything they can to protect us. And as President Obama said, uh, an attack on a police officer is an attack on all of us. In the wake of the deadly Dallas shooting, San Jose police doubled up officers on patrol. So far after Baton Rouge, they have decided not to resume the practice. But a spokesperson for the department did release a statement saying that they had not, quote, received any credible information of threats, while adding that our officers have the ability to work two-person patrol cars if they wish. The Police Officers Association condemned what they described as this latest cowardly ambush. They also called on political leaders to increase funding for a department that has in recent years been understaffed and overworked. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo says the murder of the police officers in Baton Rouge is a tragic reminder of the dangerous and all too often deadly job that police officers perform every day. There are a lot of folks out there trying to protect us right now who feel that they're under siege and maybe genuinely under siege. So right now, the department's policy is that it is elective. If officers want to ride two to a car, they have that option. It's not clear how many officers are actually taking them up on that offer. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.